Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today we're going to do one of my favorite videos, and that is a good old question and answer. Anyone, any advice for dry feet and heels? Oh my gosh, I have like a miracle product, a miracle, and I will link that video up here. That It's a cream that literally changes your feet so much that when I go get a pedicure, she asked me what I was using. For that, do you do your nails yourself? No. Sometimes I do, like if I change my polish, but I have one woman that I go to and she will do my nails and my feet while I'm getting a pedicure so I don't have to spend that extra time. And I, she likes to do it. I like to pay her and tip her so we do that but so i do get a manicure and pedicure but i do paint my nails sometimes too have you tried the glass powder from rodeal i'm on my last container of laura mercier i have it on my face now under my eyes i am obsessed with it it's my new laura mercier it's lighter in texture but not in color and it's more neutral that's what I would say about that. Okay, here's a good one from Wanda. I love Wanda. If you could only choose five pieces of clothing, what would that be? Thanks for being here. Thank you for being here. Hands down, it would be a black blazer of some sort. And today I wore one that I just got and it is on sale. So I'm gonna make sure I edit and put this video up so you can get it on sale. I did not get it on sale. Maybe I should call and see if they'll credit me. But you guys know how much I love a black blazer and you know how much I love fringe. This is a fringed leather black blazer from Mango. So you know it wasn't crazy expensive to be genuine leather. It's got the shoulder pads in it. I got the small part of me wishes I had gotten the medium because I like oversized. But then when I put it on today, I thought, okay, I like it. I've seen another one that I really like on Free People and that one is suede. So maybe I'll get that one a little bit more oversized. I don't know, but a black blazer, a black moto, an amazing pair of jeans like I have on today. I have on a pair of Gap jeans. I wore them in my shoe video. I'll put that up here. They are so good and they're on sale right now. They're not even expensive to begin with. They're like $79 and now I think they're 40 something and they are so good. Oh, I know what it is. In my Gap video, remember, I'll put that up here. Remember when I showed you the girlfriend jeans, the real light ones, and I asked you guys, should I keep them? Well, they were just too light for me. So I took them back and they had the same jeans in this wash. They're kind of like a blend of the AYR bomb or the pop and my favorite mother denim, Tomcat. They're kind of like a blend of those two. Must have. We've got a moto jacket, a pair of jeans, my blazer, a cami of some sort. Cami, tank, bodysuit. Today, wow, I'm getting to do my outfit. Today I have on the Skims bodysuit. This is a funny story. This is going to be a long video, so get a drink. This is a bodysuit that I bought a long time ago. It was when we were living at the rental house. Matter of fact, it was before then because I moved it from my old house to there. It's from Skims. I had ordered maybe the small medium, and when you get it, it's like Oh my gosh, it's like pulling pantyhose out. Well, I went to wear it and it was just like a joke. That thing was so tight, there was just no way I was wearing it. So I gave it to Brooke. Well, Brooke wears it all the time and it is so flattering. It is the most flattering bodysuit. And so she wore it both times that we went out of town, these past the Nordstrom sales. Gosh, let me take my microphone off real quick so I don't lose this. Let me show you this bodysuit. But I, if you don't want this one, I've got another one. But just look how flattering it is. So pretty. So I ordered her another one and I ordered this one and it is a large, extra large. And this is how 
tight it is. It's so tight in the middle that when you go to the bathroom and you unsnap it, it doesn't even go up. And Brooke says, I know, she said, I wear mine without the snaps. <laughs> you can just wear it, you know, tucked in. But I would say bodysuit or tank. My next favorite bodysuit, matter of fact, this is number two. My first favorite bodysuit, cami, especially shapewear, is Honey Love. That one, you cannot beat the comfort and the lift. It gives good lift. It gives lift this way, not lift that way. So we've got blazer, moto, jeans, a cami underneath. My next favorite thing would be, gosh, it's going to be it, it's seasonal. In the summer, it would have to be a black dress. In the winter, it would have to be a black pair of pants of some sort, like the Honey Love leggings. They're the best. They're better than Zella. They're better than Lululemon. They're better than, oh gosh, any of them. They're just good. Or trousers or something like that. So that would be my favorite five pieces but you guys know i love all clothes i love different vibes i love to decide who am i going to be that day like where am i going and we need to do a video on that like how i get dressed and how i decide what i'm going to wear if you would like that let me know down below okay i had someone say can you please do a get ready with me with totally different colors and makeup than you usually do that is a tough thing for me because i am the kind of person that it's hard for me to do something that i'm not passionate about that i don't feel good about and i know this is so silly it's just makeup but i don't feel like i do it well i don't feel like i do things well that i am not invested in emotionally or spiritually or mentally whatever i don't feel like i do a good job now what i will do is something different that i do like which is blue eyeshadow or purple eyeshadow but last time i wore red lip i mean you when you see the pictures you can see the sadness in my eyes and i remember when i used to work in an office it was a bunch of girls and we used to just have the best time talking i think it was something about going out with a guy i don't know what it was but someone asked me something i don't know i don't know who it was and i had to tell them a story i can't remember i had to say something like i haven't seen anybody or something like that and when they left, I remember looking at the girl across from me like, oh no, and she said, Lisa, she started laughing. She said, you cannot lie, you cannot lie. It was written all over your face. So I'm not good at doing things that I don't really love and I don't love wearing red lipstick. I had several people ask me about disciplining your children when they're adults. So Will's 18, Brooke is 22, my only two children. And that is a, that's a video on its own. So let's do that in a separate video. Okay, someone said, when you use the Laura Geller body bronzing powder, does it get all over your clothes? Put it on today and it might get a little bit on this, but not as much as self tanner. To me, self tanner is the grossest thing. I'm not gonna say I won't do it because I will. But even when I do try on videos, if I have on self tanner, it gets everywhere. If I have on the Laura Geller body bronzer, it might get on some things, but not in the same way. I have hit pan and I've got another one on the way. And I had a lot of people ask me, will you ever cut your hair? Several things about cutting my hair. My hair is an extension of who I am. And you guys know I'm very into discovering myself. Like, I love to find out why do I do this? Why do I do that? Why do I do good things that lead to good things in my life? Why do I do the negative things that don't lead me where I want to go in my life? So I like to really, really think about things like that. And if this is something that you might want to talk about, let me know because I find it fascinating. And that is feminine energy. I always thought that I was the way I was because I'm Southern. But then when I started really thinking about that, I was like, well, not all Southern women are like me. I don't know, you know, of course it's where you're brought up, 
your parents, but a lot of it is, you know, nature versus nurture. I think it's a lot of nature. I think it's more nature than nurture because you can see four children brought up by the same two parents in the same house and you can see how the sisters or the brothers will be so different. So in reading and studying why I do the things I do, I realized I have a strong feminine energy. And you can, if you don't like the word energy, you can, you know, substitute it with whatever you want. But I really feel the best when I have the most feminine vibes that I can have. And my hair is a part of that. It's what I find the most me. Not that I don't think other women can be very, very, very feminine with short hair or that I couldn't be, but you kind of have to go with what brings out that best feeling in you. I find my power in my femininity. So that's why I love long hair, not even just on me. I love it on other women, on little girls. Not to say I can't appreciate a shorter hairstyle. To me, if I ever did get my hair cut, I love in the fro. Um, what is her name? Victoria. I always want to call her Erica, but Victoria. Her hair that's like right here and then she keeps it kind of bouncy, fresh, and curly. I think that's very feminine too. But right now, I'm really enjoying, I love the way it feels on my body when I walk. I just love that feeling. I remember how I felt when I did get it cut short. Those of you that have been here with me, you remember when I had it cut short, like this short, because it was so damaged. So now I take the time and the steps and the sacrifices to keep it healthy so that I can get it long. It also is somewhat of an accomplishment. It's something that I wanted, that I want, that I had to uh, work towards. I have to not do this, not do that. I hope that answers your question. I like it. I just... At this point, I have no feelings of wanting to cut my hair. How to stay confident when aging. That's something I would like to do a separate video on. I feel strongly about that. And you know, the reason I am here is because part of my feminine energy that I have learned, I was like, why do I feel the way I do about other women? Why am I not jealous? Why do I not have that feeling of wanting to break other women down like some women do? When you are very, very much in your feminine energy, you love other women and you have this strong desire to help and to share. You don't have a strong desire to preach or to tell someone what to do. That's why I have a hard time with that. But you really have this strong desire to share. And that's how I feel. It's, it's so rewarding to me to do it. And that's why I love doing that. So I do want to share how I feel about aging. Someone said, do you still use the Kenzie hair removal? Does it grow back after time? I don't still use it just because I'm lazy and I don't, I hate to say lazy because I'm not a lazy person, but it's not in my first list of priorities because I don't really mind shaving. I love that Billy Razor and I, I kind of scrub my whole body anyway with a good body wash. It's part of feeling clean to me. So I just suds up everywhere and then I shave. But I 100% say that it works. It really, I mean, it was impressive. Remember when I did that video and I did one leg and I didn't do the other? Still to this day, one leg has more hair on it than the other, if that tells you anything. I also get a lot of questions about the new face and about the one I got from Freeze Glow Beauty. I think hers is, I'm gonna say better because it was stronger. That sucker was so strong, I could not believe it. Do I think it works? Absolutely. Do I think you have to do it every day or every other day? Absolutely. And I could never find a good place to put it in my daily routine or in my skincare routine. And that's another thing I have people ask me about is skincare. 
skincare period and skincare during menopause. So I want to do a separate video on that. I tell you, I hear people say they can't think of video ideas. I do not have enough days in the week, in the year to do all the videos I want to do. Okay, how do you grow your hair longer? Can't seem to get past a certain length and my hair is full and healthy. I do think that we're all, we have like this set limit and I'm not sure how long my hair would grow because Morgan says, she said, this is crazy. I think it would just grow and grow and grow. I just had two inches cut, I think, two times ago. I usually go about every four weeks. I was actually due to go yesterday and we had to reschedule. So I don't know how long mine would grow, but I do think there is just like a set limit like to how far it will grow. I just really try to be careful. I really try to be careful. Like today I did blow dry it. I took a picture last night just to show what I do. I think I've actually done a video on this too. My new blowout, if I did, I will put it up here, but I blow it out and then I put a big Velcro roller in the back and then I clip down the sides after I blow it out so that they will stay. I like it to stay flat right here, but I like it to have some movement. I don't want it to be straight. And so I have kind of perfected that with the clips. So therefore, I get a two-day hairstyle with minimal heat. I do use a Dyson hairdryer, but if you will look this up, I'm not an expert but I do think this, and I have read it a lot, that keeping your hair wet is also very damaging. You don't want your hair to stay wet for a long time. So if I can't let my hair air dry in the sun and warm air, I don't want to leave it wet. And to go to bed with a wet head or a worse, a wet bun is not good. Morgan said she has taken down people's hair before where they put it up wet in a bun and it actually smelled like mildewy. I want to do a video. People have asked me about things that I have done through the years like uh, lasers, filler, Botox, and plastic surgery. I want to do a video on those because I am not certainly not ashamed of anything that I have done and there is more behind it than you would think. Do I still get lip filler? No, I haven't gotten lip filler. If I can find a picture where I did have lip filler, I will put it in here. I think it's kind of gone out of style. It's not my vibe anymore. I've always had full lips run in my family. My mom and dad have full lips. My grandparents had full lips. So I already have full lip skin. The last time I ever had filler in my lips, it was that kind that's really um, thin. And it was right when I moved into that rental house. So I would say it was about two years ago. Do I think your lips after you've had Juvederm or some of those, I think that they it builds your collagen in your lips, and I think it just keeps them full for a long time. I don't know if they'll ever go down completely to where they were at like ground zero, but I haven't gotten filler in a long time and haven't even wanted it. That's the funny thing. Someone told me a long time ago, gosh, this is gonna take forever to edit, but I'll put that video up here about why I don't want lip filler and what's even better. What's even better is a good lip liner. Like my lip liner with Christian Audette, I think it's even better at making your lips look like I want them to. I don't necessarily want my lips to be full like in projection. I would rather them take up more of my, you know, face space. And that is how I get that is with lip liner. Oh gosh, this is a good one. Other baby names you liked but didn't use. Hmm. With Brooke, I we really just honed right in on Brooke. So, and my first name is Melissa and so is hers. So I really loved that Brooke was timeless. I loved that you thought of a pretty girl or a pretty woman. I do when I thought of the name Brooke. 
And John and I agreed on it like immediately. So that is that I did not think of a lot of other names. Now, when I was pregnant with Will, before I knew he was a boy, I was thinking of Faith because I have always loved Faith Hill. Then I thought of like, that was when the like older names became popular, like Isabel, Evelyn, stuff like that. So my grandmother's name was Annabelle and my original middle name was Ann, Melissa Ann. Now it's my maiden name as my middle name. So I really thought of Annabelle. I had a lot of names and John and I had not really zeroed in on one because I found out Will was a boy like at 16 weeks. Then we went through those names. John is a major family name. I think every man I love is named John. So his first name is John. We were toying with the middle name. I like very classic, strong, easy men names. So we, you know, Matthew, Benjamin, um, and then William, and we both liked William, and we both liked Will. I like that it's it's timeless. I just had a good feeling about it, but I did think I like the name Ben. I like the name Matt. I'm just kind of cl a classic girl, and it's all about how things make me feel. Okay, and then I'm going to end with this one because this is also a video that I want to do, and it's how do you stay motivated to look put together every day. I don't mind how I look with no makeup on, you guys. I don't mind. I will go anywhere. I'm not ashamed of how I look with no makeup, but I know that I don't feel my best. So this also goes along with that feminine vibe, that feminine energy that makes me me, and I will get into that. I will tell you the exact reasons because there's almost a science behind it how that makes you feel, and then what the other feelings that follow that. So let me know down below. I don't know. I know that my demographic is my age. Strongest audience, I believe, is 45 to 65. And I don't know if it's something that you guys are interested in. And I don't mean it to be like a woo-woo thing when I say feminine vibe. I just mean it's we all have masculine and feminine in us, even men. And there is a reason that things are the way they are. And I find it fascinating. So let me know if you are interested in that. So let's do an outfit of the day, even though you already basically know what I'm wearing. And because it's, it's a good practice for me too in this room. And thank you so much for your positive feedback on me being in this room. I won't always. I will certainly, I've got a fashion video coming up Wednesday that will be more out there in my like living room upstairs. But thank you, thank you, thank you, because I do care what you think. Okay, so the first shoes I thought of putting on with this outfit are the ones that I was telling you about in my shoe video. These shoes are comfy. I can wear these for a good, I mean, hours. I was going to wear these, but I just got these from, oh my goodness, ASOS. I saw a girl, oh, I'm the worst at this. I saw a girl wear these in a try-on video. And so I ordered them. And I'll be daggone if they are not beautiful and easy to walk in. And I think they're just really cool. So let me show you. I don't know. There's something about this with this that I just was feeling. Make sure that my, oh, let me move this down here and see what happens. Okay, I don't know. Well, now that I've got my um, microphone, I'll be able to back up more. Okay, so one thing I wanted to say is these jeans are mid-rise. On me, literally my hip bones are right here, but I have a long torso. So they will probably come up to like here on the average person. They would be amazing for you if you are short-waisted. Me, I don't know. To me, it's like if I like the jeans, I'm not really worried about that. I feel like if I have a pair of jeans on that have a zipper this long, sometimes it looks crazy. Okay, the jacket and all its glory. I'm a fringe girl. Leather, 
and fringe are part of this season's trends. I wouldn't even care. I love this, but that's why you will see more of them when you're shopping. And then here are the shoes. What surprised me is one, they're not heavy at all. I always think these wedgie things like this are gonna be heavy and they don't flip and flop. Like when you walk, your foot just stays like, let me see if I can show you. It, it just has that perfect like foot, the top that keeps your foot very, very stable in these. So I don't want them to sell out before you guys grab them because they were not expensive at all. And for accessories, I have my favorite earrings. Like what? It's so weird how something just grabs me and it's these earrings. I mean, I love the black ones, but there's just something about these clear ones. It just looks like a big fat diamond, but in a edgy way. And then I still had my Lisa necklace on because it's gold. It's like solid gold, not like it's expensive, but it, what I'm saying is it's not going to turn. So I've just been, you know, taking showers and everything with it anyway. This is the ring that matches the earrings. And I've got on my watch, my Rolex. This is the, I can't remember um, the true name of it, but it's the nickname of it is the Tiffany Blue. My nail polish is Funny Bunny, one of my classics. And, oh, this is gonna be a long video. Would you guys be interested in some nail videos, like my favorite colors? I was gonna do my top 10 OPI nail colors that every woman should own. And I just want to tell you how much I love you and how important you are. You guys are just, this whole thing, this whole YouTube thing is so rewarding to me. And I appreciate you so much. If you would subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up because that helps me know that I'm doing the right thing. It helps me reach more people. And I think it's just a good thing. All in all, it increases our little club here. So thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.